Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, what's going on? I'm all right. First and foremost, I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to come on your platform and allotting me the time to even speak with you. I'm very thankful for that. Second, I want to say congratulations on you and that beautiful child that you have. Um, I want to start off by saying I'm not going to come on here and ask you no dumb, retarded-ass questions like people do. All right. Um, you're a mother now. Mental health is very important. Yeah. I know, if anybody knows psychologically how draining this is dealing with those people so i'm not i'm not trying to stir the pot i don't want nobody thinking i'm trying to breathe life back into arguing with this nigga on the internet my purpose for this interview so that joy knows and so that the people know you can call me tori i'm gonna go by tori go okay tori so that yeah. tori knows and that the people know i want to bring awareness of how certain cult leaders move so that family members can gain some kind of some kind of notice if they family or a family member is finna join a cult. For example, I'll give you a little bit of personal uh, insight into my life. I have family members who have been gone off the grid a year, year and a half. Nobody's heard of them because they joined cults. And so, mm -hmm. Nature Boy is not the only saint. He's not the only person that does shit like. Right. And so, it's, like I said, my my means for this interview is not to do not get to trolling this woman, do not get to lead this woman alone. Let her be a mother. Let her let her detox herself mentally from y'all. Let this woman raise her kid. Do not get to fucking with this woman again, please. And so I we want to bring. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not here for that. And so uh, I appreciate you doing this interview with me because I can. This is not like I said. I, I already know the toll it takes dealing with them niggas over there. Them is some crazy niggas. But yeah. uh, conducting this, I mean, before I start this interview, you know, if there's anything you want to say to me, you know, you, you're welcome to say it. You don't have to uh, tip no, talk to me. No, I just want to say thank you for reaching out. You know, I, I definitely wanted to spread awareness. That was the reason I spoke out in the first place, because normally I'm quiet, I'm quiet about the way I move. I just kind of, I want to leave in peace. I don't want to cause a ruckus, but... At this point, I feel like, like you said, I you notice how cult leaders are preying on people, and that is something I definitely see in carbonation. So I wanted to right. bring awareness about what actually happens in the group and what's going on there. And um, if you're thinking about going, think twice, think twice, because if you're if you're getting if you're if you're getting a bad vibe from it, trust your intuition. Because I had a bad vibe before I even went, and then I, I I started hearing the false allegations, and I was like, "Oh, they just attacking him!" And I just right, I for, I dismissed it. Right. Um, if you don't mind, right, so that mm -hmm. people be, because I, I'm gonna show you what I got, so you know, I don't, I don't just want to back. I got a, I got a couple questions written down, so that you know, some of these uh, I may yeah. skip. Yeah, some of these I may skip because they might not even be relevant, or you may, you know, as you as we uh, engage, you may answer them. I'm going to try to get through this as fast as possible because, like I said, you're a mother. I don't want to hold you up too long. And, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I want to be as cordial and I'm on your time. So I'm not... No worries. Let's get now. it. No worries. Okay. Let's get it. I'm ready. I'm okay, ready. here we go. So, first I'm going to ask you, how did you first come into... And some of y'all might have heard this already, but I have to do it in this way for people that may have never heard of this nigga. Or you got an a, a, a audience that may be up in age and they're not social media savvy like us. So they, they need to become aware of how their loved ones can be contacted or, you know, discover cult such as this one. So how did you first become aware of uh, Nature Boy and his, we're just going to say his, his his movement, his cult? And, uh, what was, and what was it like? What was the process like becoming, you know, uh, becoming a, a part of that sect? Was it a grooming process? Was it, what was it? Um, there was, I wouldn't say there was a grooming process at all. Um, I found carbonation literally, um, I, I, I feel like I, I, I had an awakening and then literally I found chief on, I found chief on YouTube. And once I found him, I just started watching his videos and I found out that he was actually a group. It was a group of people. I thought it was just him. Then I found out it was a group. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're living into a nature. Like, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Like that's, they're talking about grounding. They're talking about, you know, this, that, and the third. And I thought that it was beautiful. I wanted to be a part of it. And then literally that week at, at, that I found Carbonation, they posted videos on how to join Carbonation. And they talked about going into isolation, removing anything from your life that doesn't fit the frequency. And that's exactly what I did. I cut out 
everything. And I went into isolation. I was living in the woods <laughs> in a tent. Like I, wow. I took it to a whole nother, I took it, I took it there. Cause I, I was like, this is, this is real life. This is true. This is what I want to do in my life. Let's do it. Right. I and then I would say he, he messaged me. I would say a month with me, in me being in isolation, he messaged me. I actually never reached out to him. Um, he said that I actually just popped up on his timeline and he messaged me. He was just like, are you ready to join? And I was like, yeah. And then we set up a flight. He, he asked, who did I want to marry? Um, who did I, did I want to be his? He, he didn't actually didn't come out and say, do I want to be his wife? He asked me, who did I want to be with? And I was like, um, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't really looking at any of the other people. I thought it was just you. So I was coming there to, you know, to be your wife. And he was like, Pause. okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. listening. Yeah, so just so that we have an understanding. So you never even, like, you ain't even shoot your shot, basically. This nigga just basically asked you who, basically, what's happening. Yeah, he was just like, okay, who do you want to be with? Right, I hear you. I'm just, I'm just, put, I'm just asking these questions so people can know, especially women, because I stress this all the time, and nobody listens to me, especially <sighs> black women. Y'all are like the, the ideal target in society, and it's it's sad to say this, but because not that nobody cares, but the justice system does not care. If if Nature Boy was sliding in white women DMs and he had a coat, oh, that <laughs> nigga would be thought he would be out of here. And so, yeah. Like, Definitely. I wanna, I, yeah, I don't want to ask you questions that might make make you kind of uncomfortable, but for, for black women, especially you youthful, you vibrant, you're not, and nothing wrong with my elder queen, but I'm, I'm speaking to the younger black, you youthful, you vibrant, you got a lot of life in you, this is what niggas do, and so by me asking you these questions, even though they might make you feel uncomfortable, I want other women to hear this, because it might be a nigga in their DM just, just shooting his shot, and so at least if they say, okay, this is this is the process, that that excuse me, Tori went through mm -hmm. interacting with him. Then then it may be familiar with them, but you could continue on. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I want to be your wife. You know, we were been taught we had he had been giving lives about polygamy literally all week before he messaged me. So I'm thinking I'm walking into a polygamous relationship. Um, Nana uh, Velvet was his wife at the time. Well, it still is. Was his wife at the time, and she. You know, she didn't really say much to me about it. Uh, I didn't talk to him much before. I was really nervous. I didn't really know what was going on. I was just like, oh, shit. Like, I'm joining Carbonation. Like, I'm excited. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm in there. I want a frequency, bitch. Like, I'm super excited. And I get there. And it's a whole other story. Like, the vibes were completely off. She was like, you could tell, like, she wasn't okay with it. And I'm, I'm taken back by this because I'm like, you just invited me into a relationship where I'm thinking all parties are equally okay with being polygamous and then he i could tell that he was trying to turn her against me he was trying to turn me against her and then the process began of him trying to break me down he actually got wine that night he got wine that night and um you know and that that was something that he would actually do with new members he'll get you wine he'll get you relaxed get you you know turn up with the people but then immediately after that he uh starts his breaking process that breakdown that breakdown happens and he started asking me questions about my past. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm open. I was open about it. Um, but then he started twisting parts of my own story. And I was like, no, that's not it. That's not what happened. And then he started, like, like literally grilling me, calling me a liar, like, like literally going in on me to the point, like, this went on all night um, to the point where I was crawled up in a ball crying, like, bawling my eyes out that I just wanted it to end. So at that point, I finally just gave in and just kind of just went with anything that he said. Right. I was so, like, yeah, you're right. I was lying. I was lying about everything. You're right. And I just, and he left me alone. Well, right. So what was, he, what was he saying you was, what was he accusing you of lying about to the point where he had to psychologically put pressure on you for fucking hours? And everything. Night? Everything. He, um, he asked me, he asked me if I was bisexual. I was like, yes, I'm openly bisexual. I like women and men, and he's like, okay, which do you like more? I'm like, okay, I like them equally. I don't really have a preference. He told me I'm lying about that. He said, do you like me or her better? Meaning him or Velvet better. I was like, right, right now I like her better because of the way you're treating me. And he's just like, that's right. a lie. You like me better. So then he oh, started heard, grilling yeah, me on that. You heard, the, you heard the narcissist inside of him with that. Yeah. So he he grilled me on that, called me a liar with um on that for like a good hour. That was a good hour and then until I finally was like, Okay, no, I like you better. You're right. I lied. I like you better. 
and then he started getting into her head immediately after that was like you see she lied to you um how does that make you feel and then she started you know playing into the game too because she you know she wasn't really okay with polygamy anyway and yeah okay listen that's a beautiful intro um i want to ask you if not you specifically have you ever seen nature boy suggest that people either not inform or not fully inform their friends, family, or loved ones, whoever that may be, about them joining carbonation? Have you ever seen him suggest, if not to you, anyone, not to tell their family they coming over there? Yeah. Yeah. Was All the you? time. He, oh. he, no, I like, not me. I was very open with my family about me leaving. Um, I told, you know, I kind of told them everything. But like Zoka, for example, told him not to tell, she told her not to tell her family, especially since there was a blowout with that. Uh, it was, it was, it was numerous members that he told them not to speak up about who, speak to their family about leaving because he didn't want them to be, to be prevented from joining. Right. So, yeah. And so the reason I asked you that question, like I said, is because I want people to know the signs. Um, so if there's a guy on the internet, okay, who is telling you to come join his organization, cult, whatever it may be. The mm -hmm. moment that they tell you not to inform the people in your life that may care about you, mm -hmm. it is so that they can isolate you and have their way with you. Now, this, yeah. is important. this is important because not only is this dangerous, he's a low-level being, but you got human trafficking going on out here. So... It's for, this is for young women to be aware. The internet is a dangerous place. And don't think because people be, get on here and become some, some magical butterfly-looking entity that they're not really a, a, a devil in the midst. And so, yeah. like I said, I'm going to conduct this interview in a way to where this is just how we can see the signs of somebody that has your worst interest at hand without it seeming like I'm doing any personal attacks or trying to revive right. I'm it, it, I'm glad yeah. you actually said that. I'm glad you actually spoke on that because like he said if there's if if they tell you not to tell your your family, that's a that's uh -huh. a huge red flag. If they're telling you to abandon your family or that your family does not care about you, that is also a huge red flag and that is something that you see playing out at Carbonation as well. They make that's you right. feel like your family it does not uh care about you. They don't they don't understand you. Let's just say they they'll Feed you the, they'll feed you the, the, the lies of that your family does not understand you. Um, That's right. To leave your children behind and that they're attachments. Your family have now become attachments. That, that lie plays in with carbonation. Those are red flags. Okay. Now, um, if my questions come out of order, I apologize for that, but I'm going to just get to asking some questions. No, don't trip. Now, I want to ask you, uh, and I don't just want to say, why don't the, the members of the cult speak out? So I'm going to ask you it in this way, if this makes sense. And then mm. I can re-prepare re the question if you need me to. Do you, do you feel that Nature Boy shames his members into not speaking out on his misdeeds by incorporating them? Like, for example, when people leave from over there or mm. while people are over there, do you feel that people don't speak out about what he's doing because they, they feel guilty? because they've been involved in it at once upon a time? I feel like that, that plays a huge factor in them not speaking up. I feel like um, also because they trusted him. They look at him as chief, as their higher self. So they see him as the spiritual guru. So a lot of people are open to him about their traumas, things that they've went through and experienced in life, and they may be embarrassed about it. They may be embarrassed that he may go online and talk about, the, talk about these experiences that they've opened up to him and shared about. Um, and also... Carbonation has a lot of, um, they have a bad reputation. There's a bad reputation about it. So a lot of times after they leave, they want to distance themselves completely from it instead of speaking out about it. Right. Okay. Uh, let me check that off. Um, what are some of the things that Nature Boy has involved some of his members in that you feel that they wouldn't, that they would, that they wouldn't particularly want? you know, that they would be embarrassed about, but that you feel that somebody should, should have spoke up on? Do you mean, like, things that, like, he would have created or, like, had them do? Just, like, think, like for example, right? Uh, like, and I, wa I wanted to wait till I got down here, but I'm going to just ask you. Things mm -hmm. like, have you seen 
or like I don't because I I want to ask because I I after you know after I got it dug into him I got off the way once I did once I felt I did my job I believe it was you in a video if I'm not mistaken and you were saying that uh and I don't want to put words in your mouth if it wasn't you you can correct me I mm -hmm. believe it was you saying that at one point in time new being raped you or something it's like a re a recording somebody got up and if that's you know if you don't want to relive that we don't got to relive that but if not if it wasn't you it was definitely a woman saying that you know somebody over there sexually forced themselves over on the woman i believe it was newbie and i believe the video is on either don't turn me petty page or grand grand page mm -hmm. but if it was right if it wasn't you i just want to ask have have you seen or do you do you have you had anything that would indicate that women are being you know made sexually vulnerable or abused over there in some type of way <laughs> Um, I don't want to really want to uh, particularly speak about the video. Um, not a problem. Right by. I don't really, but I will say that um, if Chief does say something and it's misconstrued by the members, then they will act on it. Now, let's say, for example, he's talking about that he's giving a lesson today on um, how the black man should be able to hit his woman, and that um, if he feels like his woman is getting out of line, he should be able to. Put, put hands on her. Um, literally, if a, a member feels that way, uh, later on after getting this programming from him and they feel that way, they will, you know, take heed to that information that they just received. Uh, so it, it's not to cut you off, but mm -hmm. tell me if I'm right. Uh, tell me if I'm kind of right. So it's kind of like when Donald Trump was making suggestions that people should start punching people at the rallies and then people start getting punched at the rallies. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, I feel you. So basically, that one day, hypothetically speaking, not saying he said it, but this nigga might just be like, "You should, if your woman get out of line, you should do it, do it." And next thing, yeah, you know, and like even together. even he'll even like target like in one scenario with that with this same example, um, he was like, "Tori, Tori, she's a different kind of woman. You gotta put hands on her." You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, oh wow, okay, you get what I'm saying? So it's, mm, yeah, he try to put the target on you, yeah. And basically, basically put the tie. That's that's crazy. But um, continuing on. Um, um, I would say what else would be uh, another example would be just him putting people into relationships that they don't want to be in. For example, that that initially I felt that when I first got there too. This is what I want to say. I was ignoring all the red flags that I felt. Um, my first night there, I noticed that he kept bringing the um, the other men around me. But I'm supposed to be his wife. But I like I like it just felt weird. And mind you, I didn't I don't I didn't know much about carbonation, but like when he I noticed that he kept doing it, but I noticed that he was watching me and watching them. And it was it just gave me a really weird vibe. So <laughs> I'm when, not laughing when, at you, I'm just laughing at him because he's a weirdo. Nah, okay, I'm listening. No, nah, but like once once the men finally left the room after like the fifth time, I looked at him and I was just like, Are you trying to like pass me off to one of the other dudes? And he was just like Oh no, like I would never do that to you. Like, no, just relax, relax. Cause now I'm really paranoid. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm I just went through this breakdown. You doing this. I'm, I'm like, it's a lot of weird energy moving around. I didn't like it. So I asked him that. And he's like, no, no, I would never do that to you. And then, um, but yeah, so fast forward, um, he does, he, he puts people in relationships, relationship that they don't want to be in. Me. Aya, um, every other woman there, he's placed them into their relationships that they're in now. Um, I would say the only person that that's went willingly into a relationship was uh, Sheba. Um, but then the back and forth with him and um, True, that was a lot of him. Right. That was a lot of him. She didn't. She didn't really want to be with True after being with True. She wanted to be with. Him. Have the women have 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 the women have any women to your knowledge ever vocally expressed? that they don't want to be in one of his suggested relationships? What was the question? Have any women, to your knowledge, whether it be you or any woman over there, ever vocally expressed that they don't want to be with somebody that he's trying to match? Yes, up? it's expressed all the time. It's not like the women uh, go over there silently. they like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. He will threaten you to leave. Um, you got to figure it out. A lot of people are there um, being taken care of. They're being taken care of for the most part. So they didn't receive it back home so they'll just go along with it because they don't want to leave or this is the first place that's accepted them 
so they just kind of go along they go with the flow like okay i don't want to leave so i'll stay here so he'll he's literally threatened aya he's threatened tron he's threatened um Eferu, he's threatened, he's threatened damn near everyone there. If you don't go into that relationship, you have to get the fuck out. Wow. Um, or yeah. he'll, wow. or he'll be like, like, for example, with I and Tron, like, you know, once he gets his rocks off with her, he'll go, go to Tron behind the scenes and be like, I don't want her. I really don't want her. Like, can you just take her off my hands? Like, just, you know, you know, it, and, he, and Tron's like, nah, I don't want to do that. But he's like, you got to get the fuck out if you don't. I'm your chief. Wow, so it's a sex cult, like I've been saying, and that is a form, and I'm not saying you said it, I'm going to say it. That mm -hmm. is a form of sexual abuse. I don't care what nobody's talking about. That is a form of sexual abuse, and I want to say this before we continue, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to a lot of y'all that's watching, this is entertainment to y'all. This is not entertainment. This is real it's life. Not. And it's sad that it's entertainment to y'all because black women are the ones being subjugated because and i'm gonna say this when that white woman went over there from canada damn near the whole canada brought their ass over there to get her but you got women that's black being sexually abused so that a narcissist could get his rocks off the nigga already i got him to admit to me he was mentally ill he was in a damn mental health institute and this is entertainment to y'all because it's our women and so the reason i'm doing this interview is not for not for entertainment, but for young women who may be watching this nigga to some way stumble across this interview and say, I'm not taking my ass over there. And with that being said, continuing on, you brought up uh, uh Eferu, I believe her name was. Mm -hmm. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that she became his woman at one point in time. And then mm -hmm. she then she just wasn't his woman for whatever his reason. Now, if I'm not mistaken, she was pregnant. And there mm -hmm. were rumors on the internet that he beat the baby out of her, that he made her have an abortion and, you know, things like that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, he didn't abuse her, but if I'm not mistaken, I'll move back. Thank you. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I don't know if he made her take something or how did she have an abortion, but my thing is, here's why I'm going to before you answer that. Mm -hmm. Did he convince her that he really wanted to be with her? Because this is what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. If he, yeah, if he had sex with her, and he talks about nature. Mm -hmm. Why would this woman do something unnatural, like taking some, some form of medication to have an abortion if she's pregnant by a man that she truly believes she's going to be with? So how did that happen? Like, Because if we're talking about manipulation or using people, this is just bread and butter. Because you don't get some, like, I, I'm not using you. I'm not sexualizing you. I'm just saying, if I tell you, okay, Tori, you my queen. I want to be with you. Wop -de -wop, and then you get pregnant. And I tell you, get an abortion. That that apparently shows I was lying about everything I said. Yeah, so, that's yeah. That wasn't the first time. Um, you know, he's he's taking her on as a wife, as well as all the other the other women there on as wives with with that same um that same game. Like, oh, I want you are all my wives. I want to be with you. I didn't want to be with you before because Eliana was here, so I couldn't treat you the way that I really wanted to treat you. Um. You know he feeds the he feeds them that that those lies. Then he tells them he really wants to be with them. Then they go as they go as his wives, and then uh, within I would say a week or two, they're back with the other men. So yeah, he he fed her a story, and then she went back with him. Um, I don't know if the baby was his or Caliber's at this point, but right. the, right. the the taking of the pills that was coercion on his behalf. Okay, so. He had her take some pills to abort a child that might have been another man's child. So now this yeah. leads me to ask, did Caliber, I, you know, did Caliber have any say, did Caliber at least say, hey, that might be my kid. I might want to raise my kid. Or did Nature Boy just um, say that? Caliber no? was not a part of Carbonation at this time. Well, he's probably still a part of Carbonation, but he wasn't physically there. They were in California at the time that she took these pills. Um... So, no, okay. I don't know if he was able to even speak out. And my last question before we get off this subject is, do you know if, uh, and I might be saying her name wrong, Eferu, do you know if she ever told Nature Boy that she didn't, that she wanted to keep the baby, that she didn't want to keep the pills? I mean, that she didn't want to take the pills? Um, I wasn't there. I spoke to, to the, I would say, I, I spoke with someone that was actually there um, she didn't want to take the pills is what I was told that she was really contemplating on not doing it. And as soon as the, 
my source left and she came back, she had taken the pills. Okay. Uh, so yeah. that just go. Yeah, I'm going to get off that subject. I know that might be sensitive. I'm going to get off it, but I'm going to just end here before I ask my next question to say, that's not nature, y'all. So, so nobody takes prescription pills to have abortions in nature, okay? But, um, and that's a shame. And I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying Tori said anything. I'm saying it. If a woman... I want to say, oh, I do want to say something before we get off this topic Um, as well. I want to say that, uh, I don't want to say that she didn't unwillingly take those pills. I want to say that right. I feel like that was right. her decision to take the pills. Just personally being in, interacting with her, um, she knew what she was doing um, before she even took the pills, before she even, she even went with Chief. He, she, we knew that she was pregnant. He said, you're going to miscarry your child and you're going to be with me. And she, was, she said, okay. She didn't have any argument about it. So after time passed, she takes the pills. So that's what it that's is, right. that's, and that's the end of that. That's right. Um, excuse me if I take two seconds. I only want to ask you relevant questions. I don't want to ask you no bull crap, so I'm skipping through. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, cutting your hair, right? Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not mistaken, you had, I'm not saying, you're, saying you're a beautiful woman. Please do not take what I'm about to say. You're no, no worries, right? go ahead. Right, but if I'm not mistaken, your hair was longer than the length it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And I know you're not the only one to cut your hair. I did. Okay, so ask, I'll go ask the question right, and I'll, then I'll clean it up. Did, is Nature Boy forcing people to cut their hair so that he can try to kill your self-esteem? Um. Okay, I actually do want to speak on that. Um. He cut his hair. He did actually cut his hair for Eliana. When After she cut off her hair, right. she was like in a really sunken, oh, pause, dark pause, place. Pause. Mm -hmm. Before you continue. Mm -hmm. Before you continue, let me ask you. When Nature Boy took Ileana in that room, and we all heard them in that room having the episode, did Nature Boy forcefully cut that woman's hair off? No, she cut she cut her own hair off. She ran okay. she after the fight, she ran, she went upstairs, chopped her hair off. Um, she had already had lice, so I feel like that was one of the like pushing factors to like it was, she was just fed up at she just chopped her shit off. Um, but no, he didn't he didn't cut her hair off, she cut her own hair off. Um, he did cut his hair off in honor of her. He presented it to everyone. He called a meeting. She was in the room sleeping. And he was just like, I want to cut my hair off for her, you know, to support her. And we were all like, yeah, that's beautiful. You should do that. And he was like, yes. And I think everyone should do it. And, you know, some of us were like, hell yeah, let's do it. And then, you know, there were a few that were like, nah, I've been growing right. a lot. I don't want to cut my hair. Um, but, you know. He was just like, if you don't cut your hair off, you might as well fucking leave because you ain't rocking with us. So that that happened. And I would say to, to lower the self-esteem thing, I would say, you know, he he claims that he was a barber, you know. Um, and I would notice, like, when he would cut my hair, I actually had him stop cutting my hair, that he would always cut my hair shorter than what I wanted it. I have a big-ass head. Um, and I, I, I didn't like it on me. He would always cut my hair off. I feel like he would do it to Mama Sheba a lot. I feel like he would butcher her haircuts a lot of the time to keep her in the, in a lower state of mind. Anytime he cuts her hair, he fucks her hair up. He fucks right. her up and makes it shorter than what it's supposed to be. He, it, he shapes it up like a man's haircut versus if he cuts Pluto Eferu's hair or, right. you know, one of the other females, his wife's hair, it's, it's, it's more feminine. It's, it's more detailed. It looks better right so right, yeah right, i think right. he does do that right that's ridiculous um next question is do you feel nature boy genuinely cares about his members of his cult or is he just using them for his own personal satisfaction <sighs> i don't want to say he i i okay because I feel like people can care from their capaci capacity. I feel like he cares to a certain extent. Like it's 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 more of, it's, it's a more, if it's fulfilling me, if it's taking care of me, if you're doing what I do, then I care to have you here. But I feel like if you weren't benefiting him in any way, he would not care if you were there or not. Um, he talks about the members behind their backs. Um, it, 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 I truly don't. I, I personally, I don't feel like he cares. No, just seeing the way his actions, how he talks about the, the members there, how he treats them. I don't feel like he truly cares. 
Okay. Um, this is going. Let me, before we continue, are you comfortable? Do you feel I'm out of pocket? Is it going? No, you good. You, you good. All right. You good. I'm, I'm a genuine. Pro I go hard on this internet, but I'm not an asshole. I promise. Um, mm. what are some? What are some of the biggest things Nature Boy has lied about? To, I ain't gonna say me, but us. What are some of the things that you feel Nature Boy has lied about that you think maybe people should know? Um, that's something I have to think about. I feel like he he always tells lies. I feel like even if it's just a lie in a moment, and then he'll come back and tell the truth. But I feel like he always lies. It's, 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 it it might even be a little lie. I would say the one major lie, the the first time, I can't even say the first time. I would say the first lie <laughs> that 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 really struck me was when um, actually it was when you were going in on him about the mm -hmm. the porn video. And he was telling everybody at Carbonation, that's not me. That ain't, that ain't me. It's not me. And then when it came out that it was actually him, then, you know, that I feel like that was the first major lie. Um, he, he te like I said, he tells lies all the time. He's, I, <laughs> there's so many I can't really, like, pinpoint just one. He's lied to, he's lied to me. Let me think about some of the lies he's told me. Um... <laughs> A lot. I can't, it's so, a lot. So, he, so, so before y'all went over there, he never told y'all that he was a gay stripper and that he was having sex with men and trans. No, no, we didn't know that until actually you did your live and uh, exposed him about that. Yeah. Right now, this is kind of this is a little sub question. Mm -hmm. Why y'all didn't listen to me? I, I felt like, like you should. I felt like it was wrong to judge him just because you know. Okay, you you did porn in your past. All right, fine. You did porn. You trying to do the right thing now? Okay, cool, cool. You trying to do the right thing? So I, you know, we kind of played it off like that. We wanted to support him. You know, I was like, oh man, his 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 business out there. He don't he don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I I mean, I guess I can understand that. Since we on this subject, I'm gonna get on it and I'm gonna get off it now. Mm -hmm. Now you've also heard some crazy things from them, some some of them niggas over there. Almost every mm -hmm. nigga over there has either openly claimed to be homosexual or has told some kind of homosexual or or rapist type story. So I gotta just ask Wait. now. I seen a video on mm -hmm. Grand Grand page of some woman. I don't know who it was saying that every man over there has sex with nature boy <laughs> except for true and so i don't know if you know but have you heard that this could be true and if not has any other of the men over there given you any indication that they might be messing with nature boy i can say that honestly i didn't know if that did happen i could say that could be a possibility but I, I i personally didn't see anything i did feel like there could have been something that happened in the past like maybe like they did have interactions with him just because of their um fascination with him um the way that they're like really um what's the word i'm looking for their infatuation with him right pretty much. um that i thought like okay maybe something went down because you saying just, just the thing that they they go they go with, but I personally right. have not seen any homosexual behavior with Chief uh, Eligio and any other members. All right, now I'm a just so that you don't think I made that up. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. gonna just play the video right here. No, uh, play it because I have not seen this. I'm not, Who I'm is the woman? This is a woman. This is, this is a woman, and this 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 video is on Who That Grand page. So you who can is see the, the woman name, speaking? I don't know who this is. You know who this is? No, I have. I have no idea who that is. Okay, I'm going to play it. And somebody asked her, have any of the men slept with Nature Boy? And she said, everybody did except for True. So here, I'm going to play it now. Okay, what I know, do you know about him sleeping with Nature Boy? <laughs> uh, he slept with all of them. Did you hear that? I heard that he slept with all of them. Okay. So I, what I'll do is I'll DM you this video. And then you can, you can, you can, uh, purposely surrounding himself around homosexual men maybe he never yeah. nothing ever yeah you know i mean i none of the other men were open about being gay you get what i'm saying so it's like 
okay, if two out of six of the men are gay, he not really around a bunch of the gay other gay men. But then once you're around the other men, you see the femininity coming out of the, of the other men and you're like, okay. But like I said, when I first got there, a lot of the stuff that I felt while I was while I was there, the for my first night there, that's what I, my first night there, I wanted to leave. Like I said, I was feeling a lot of weird energy. I didn't like it, and he 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 actually asked me. He was like, "Why do you want to leave? Do you think it's because I'm gay?" And I was like, "No, I actually didn't think he was gay. I actually thought that he was a transgender. I thought that he wanted to be transgender. Like that was just like the energy that I was picking up from him. I'm telling you, I didn't know anything about the gay porn." him liking transgender women this was just like literally the energy that i picked up from him and he he just he just smiled and i was just like oh i mean i was like it's okay if you if you are you like that kind of stuff but like i'm it's not for me i don't want to i don't right like i just it ain't for me fully understand i fully, fully understand um okay let me cross that off okay let me ask you another question right now, this is going to be a funny question, but I have to ask this question. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are the living conditions with Carbon Nation? Would you, what, is, what is hygiene like in Carbon Nation? What is Nation? hygiene like? The women are yeah. very clean. They, they clean themselves. The women are very clean. Some of the men are very clean. I would say, um, you know, sometimes you got to stay on some of the men about their hygiene. Like, okay, brush your fucking teeth. You know, you, it's time to brush your teeth. Like, we in nature, but still got to wash your ass. Um, but I would say everybody's pretty clean for the most part. But like, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I understand what you're going. Uh, I'm I'm trying so hard not to laugh. I'm I'm telling you right now, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Um, has Nature Boy ever stopped any of the members from leaving? Whether it be Velvet or any other member, has Nature Boy ever stopped anyone from leaving? Always, always. Um, when you you present to him that you want to leave, um. There will always be long, long drawn out meetings about why you shouldn't leave and why you would go to hell if you left and why you're wrong for leaving. And um, yeah, and they, he, he always would try and prevent you from leaving. Has but he, he ever said this? No, go ahead. He justifies that by saying he has to make sure that um, he did the right thing in the moment by um, ensuring that you knew that you were doing the wrong thing. That's his job to make sure you know you're doing the wrong thing before you go. Okay. Um, has Nature Boy ever tried to physically stop anyone from leaving? Physically, no, no. I would say I I don't know. What, uh, okay. Because no, he I've hasn't seen... like physically grabbed anyone up. I would say other than his wife, Velvet. Right. Now, but I've then seen... you know he eventually always lets her go. You know if she wants to like eventually he'll stop and then he'll let her walk off. You know what I mean? It's not like. He hold, he's holding her hostage. Right. Um, as far as the um, the 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 abuse goes, because we've I've played videos of Nature Boy saying that he he put his hands on the women and the men over there. Mm. Um, have you seen Nature Boy put his hands on any of the men or the women over there? If so, who? And then after you ask that question, my I'll let you answer that, and I'll ask my next question pertaining to the men over there. Okay. Um. No, I haven't seen him physically hit any of the men. It's, it's just more of like he'll give me a face, like be like, like really close to your face, like nigga, like what's good, like you know, trying to intimidate it, you. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of that. Um, that that will go on with the men, with the women. Um, I've never seen him hit any of the women other than Velvet. Um, I've always seen him hit her. Um. Other than that, you know, he's can he's come close to wanting to like wanting to hit me, but I feel like well he said it he he wouldn't hit me because he said he, he felt like ain't. he would get fucked up if yeah. he hit me. And he better. So he's you know he's he's just done the same thing that he would do with the men like get in my face, scream scream down on me, but he's never hit me. Nah. Okay, when you seen him hit Velvet, uh, what what like what happened? And, like excuse me, was this more than one occasion? And this so, was with her. It's on um, more. Than, I, I was their wife at the at a time at one point in time, and I it it was so often to the point that I started thinking like it, this was like their foreplay. Like I was kind of confused about what was going on because they would like get into a fight. He, you know, put hands on her, and then they would have sex afterwards. And I'm 
like after the third or fourth time, I'm confused and I'm like, you know, and I actually, I actually asked him, I'm like, okay, so is this like a foreplay thing? Because I'm not rocking with this shit. Like, I don't like this. This is like, this is weird. Right. This is not That's healthy. Right. Like, I don't like it. So then he, he, he didn't answer me. Of course, you know, he just kind of slid that to the left. I would say uh, the, one of the scenarios that tra trauma, two scenarios that traumatized me the most would be, I'm gonna say the one that everybody knows about when she cuts off, when she cut off her hair, she, um, you know, he was saying that there was energy felt between. He said he was feeling energy with you, wa But she, she swung on him, and she had the baby in her hand. And once he grabbed the baby, he just started going to work on her with the, with his free hand. And I grabbed the baby, and you know, scooted to the, proceeded to leave this, leave the scene because I didn't want the baby around that shit. Now, right. The second, the second most traumatizing time would be when she was like, I would say she was probably like seven months pregnant. Um, I was there. I was their wife at this time. Um, they had got into it really bad. And, you know, he was, he just, he just, I just remember him grabbing her by her, like he punched her in the face and then he grabbed her by her head. And I just remember him flinging her across the room. And I just, I was terrified because she's seven months fucking pregnant at this time. And I just remember being so scared that like, cause he was really like the way that he was wilding out, like he was like, um, infuriated. He was pissed. And I just remember grabbing her and like putting her on the ground, like telling her just kneel. Cause at like he's screaming, he's like, if you know who the fuck I was, you'll be on your fucking knees. Like he's just like going off. He's going off. And I just remember just grabbing her and like get on your fucking knees and just stop. Like stop. Cause you're gonna fucking die if you don't stop. So that right. would, those were like the two most serious times that I've seen anything. But other than that, like, you know, he'll try, he'll, you know, they'll, he'll handle her. In uh, in private. Right. Now that's ridiculous, and I'm glad you didn't have to go through anything like that and experience anything like that. But you, you listen. Even when I was grilling him, I said, "Not I. I was calling you Joy, but I said Joy gonna be the one. I said so. He gonna, she gonna be the one. But I'm glad you didn't have to go through anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want to talk about um, public shaming sexually. So I've seen Nature Boy do it to not only you but other women, where he will get you on live and then say something that's just ridiculously inappropriate. For example, not you, but I've seen him tell another woman like, oh, the head was good. And then I think it was Ephraim, he said something about her vagina. And I just want to know if he's shaming women like this in, 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 on, the, on the live, is he doing worse in private? Um, No, it's, it's about the same. He does the same thing. So he'll say the same thing. Um, He'll be explicit. He doesn't. Do you think this is a? Do you think he does? Cause I'm. I know. I know y'all ain't telling him to do that. So do you think he does this as like a um, a hazing tactic or like a or like a shame like like a public shaming tactic to try to? Keep I feel the like sometimes it is, and I feel like it's also to get at the men, like to fuck with the men, cause you know he passes them back to these men, and a lot of times he'll. The most I've seen it done is when they're in the relationships with the other men, and he's like, you know, I really miss how she did that, or like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right. She, you know, she even got that tight pussy, but she went true. You know what I mean? It'll be like stuff like that. I feel like it's really to fuck with the men's heads and um to keep them not trusting their women and you know shit like that. Right. Um. So have the men ever stood up to him, or at least have they ever said absolutely like, not? Hey. Absolutely not. Why? Why no. do you think they haven't stood up? Was it you? Well, I don't. I, Cause I don't. You can literally anymore. see the fear. You could literally see the fear in the men. Um, like literally, when you when he's screaming down on them, you can see the fear like all over their body, in their face, like in their. It's, it's you can see the fear. They no, no one speaks up. No. And and I want to go off on a tangent and say this right. This is why the emasculation of black men is so important to touch on, because when you got a weak nigga like Nature Boy, Nature Boy is not a factor. Like, Nature Boy is not a factor. Like, and I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not glorifying street life. Buffalo is considered the most dangerous city in the entire New York State. I'm not, I'm not downing nobody. I'm not downing yeah, New York. Yeah. Man. Go look it up. They say, they say nah, we're the most Buffalo. dangerous. Yeah, they say we the most, if Nature Boy was in Buffalo moving like that, it would not be no more Nature Boy. And so my thing is, when you, what we see Nature Boy doing to these men, 
It's a pattern. What's the pattern? All of these men are either bisexual or have homosexual tendencies. And so now they can be ruled by a weak nigga. So if we mm -hmm. let the motherfucking media and the government effeminize all black men in every community, what Nature Boy is doing to them niggas will be done to all y'all, not me, but all most y'all niggas, because you're going to be, you, you're not going to have no base in your chest. And so this is why the emasculation agenda is so important. And this is why I go so hard, because if, if a Nature Boy is not smart, He's he's just he he's just a, a a manipulator and a bully, but he picks the right people to bully. If Nature Boy can do this on the scale he's doing it, imagine what a nation could do. Imagine what another country could do. And so this is why we must stop the effeminization of black men because it's open season on our women. If Nature Boy could could beat up a seven month year, I mean excuse me, a seven month pregnant woman and fling her across the room and don't none of these niggas catch a homicide that day. What does that say to black women if black men are trying to compete with them for feminine energy? And so we gotta stop that. But continuing on. Um, um I wanna add on to that. Um go right ahead. Go right ahead. I just want the men to pay attention there too. Um this is why he tells y'all that you don't have to work out and that you don't have to do anything keeps your testosterone very low. When you're not, if you're not moving, you're not mobile, your testosterone becomes low. So I want you to pay attention to that as well. That's it. Wow. So he tell the men not to work out. Yeah. He tells them that that's their natural frame to be that small, which it is. If you're eating one meal a day, that is going to be your natural frame. Right. If you're eating one meal a day and you're not working out, that is definitely going to be your natural frame. Now, if you're working out and you're eating, probably you're eating three meals a day, that, into, that will also be your natural frame. So, right. yeah. Right. Um, let's continue on. <laughs> I'm going to grab my, uh, my charger. Go ahead. Go do whatever you got to do. I'm not going on West Coast and we can see the signs. Because believe it or not, some of y'all niggas can't see the signs. You straight? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We're good. Okay. Um. Oh, I, I asked you as Nature Boy. Oh, no, I didn't. Has Nature Boy ever pressured any of the women into having sex with him? Um, I can just speak on my on my behalf. Um, it was actually something that I actually never wanted to talk about. I felt embarrassed by it, cause it, cause at that time I really saw how insecure I was within myself. My first night there, after you know that that grilling all night, um, he's like he wants to have sex with me, and I'm like. No, I don't want to have sex with you. Like after you just did all that, no, I don't. I don't want to have sex with you. And in that moment, after that, you know, he's just like, man, you ain't shit. Like he starts talking down on me, and he's just like, I don't fuck with you. Like you might as well not even be my wife. You're not here. And then I, I just broke. I was like, okay, yeah, like we can, have, you know what I mean? We can have sex, fine, fine, you know. So I could say that was the only time that I personally saw him. I'm. I'm I'm not sure with any of the other women. Right. Um, that's ridiculous. And, and you know, that's, that's what people out here doing. Energy vampires, parasites. It, it's like because he, and I'm not making fun of him, even though I can't stand him. I'm not making fun of him. He, what he went through as a kid, now he, he puts other people through that. He tries to keep people in a child-like mentality, and then he want to break you down, and then then you know utilize you physically for his benefit because that's what he went through and so this is why mental illness is an important topic that mm -hmm. we need to uh speak about in our community uh here's another question for you right you may or may not know i busted nature boy out for talking to a 16 year old on whatsapp busted mm -hmm. him out and i did an interview with him. now besides her right have you ever seen or have you ever had any indication that nature boy either talks to minors or tries to groom them to come over to Carbon Nation? Um, no, I would, I would say no to that. I feel like he, he really tries to stay away from like people that he knows that are underage until he'll be like, just keep watching until, you know, until you do your bit, until you're old enough to actually join or become a part of Carbon Nation. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm crossing this question out because I don't want to ask you that. Um... 
I believe there was an incident uh, where True and Sheba were uh, having a confrontation in the background of one of uh, Carbonation's chat sessions. And Nature Boy, you know, he called for everybody to become present because the audience was able to hear that confrontation. And so if you can recall the incident that I'm talking about, uh, was True actually putting his hands on Sheba in the background, uh, in, in that back, I mean, in the background of, that, of this particular incident? Um, He's put his hands on her before. It's, uh, I don't know which particular incident you're talking about, but yeah, he's done that before. So, yeah. Okay, well, uh, outside of Nature Boy putting his hands on the women, and you saying that he gives people a green light indirectly to put his hands on the women through his teachings and his rants, what men, what all men have you seen put their hands on the women, and who were they, if you can identify them? You ain't even got to go into detail about each story, but you can say this person did that, that person did that. I mean, um... Yeah, Chief put his hands on Nana, True put his hands on Sheba, New put his hands on me. Okay, so they just team woman beat her over there. That's ridiculous. Um, Like I said, I apologize you had to go through that. And I apologize, it's predatory niggas out here doing shit like that. Um, As far as Velvet, right? Has Velvet ever vindictively used Nature Boy to attack the other members, whether it be physically, psychologically, uh, you know, or whatever, whatever? Um, I would say, I could say yes, yes to that in the sense of like, you know, she may like act a certain type of way towards him. So he'll treat the other women certain types of ways, even if they're like in a relationship or not in a relationship. So I could say yes to that. Okay. Has in has Velvet ever gotten into any confrontations with anyone over there besides Nature Boy? Um, yeah, she's gotten into confrontations with like I would say every woman there. Like you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason I asked you that is because I wanted to know is is Velvet a pawn in Nature Boy's game, or is she on the same type of time Nature Boy? Is? For example, she's. Like, I would I would definitely say that she's on the same. Wave is nature boy. Okay. Um, I peeped that when I first got there, and that's why I, I, like she plays the same little charming and manipulative game, game that she does that he does to get you like in, you know, on her good graces. But as soon as she she doesn't like something that you do, or she'll she'll quickly turn on your ass, like very quickly. Um, yeah, she yeah she she's on the same wave as him. Literally, she okay. she's back there because it's easier for her. Okay. Um I have to I have to jump into another subject matter I brought up, right? You don't even have to mm -hmm. speak on yourself personally. Mm -hmm. STD. Does mm -hmm. has Nature Boy ever admitted or gave any indication to any STDs that we may all we already heard about herpes. We've heard about, you know, uh, uh him allegedly sleeping with no. somebody that HIV and not okay. No. I might say I had to bring it up. I had it. I had it. It's a part of the interview. I had to bring. No, it up. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, what other questions do I got? Because I'm almost. We almost can conclude this. Um, I've heard Nature Boy say this. Maybe you were or were not over there at the time. Has Nature Boy, to your knowledge, ever made any of the members drink his semen as a download? No, I feel like that was all the game just to fuck with the men. That was when he had took all the women as his wives again and he was telling everybody like, okay, they can receive my downloads. This is how they're going to receive my downloads. And, you know, the men are, are in resistance to this but not speaking up about it. And so he could feel the resistance. So then he was like, y'all should be drinking, like, y'all should be one of my downloads too. Y'all should be trying to find out a way that you can get it. He was just like, you should be trying to take my semen too. And, you know, Tron is like, hell no. Nah. He like, no, I'm not I'm not with that shit. We can get it like some other type of way. <laughs> Price is like, I'm down with the shit. It's like I'm cool with it. Like, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> so, um, Pisces, but you know, Pisces. like everybody like some like, yeah, they that was I feel like that was just all a, a mind fuck to fuck with the men, you know, just to get them off his back for taking the other women there. Yeah. Okay, so Pisces was willing to drink this nigga nut. Yeah, he was like, he was cool with it. He was cool. He was he was with the shits. He like so nigga and information. Woo! 
Got to get your protein, huh, nigga? Huh, Pisces? Got to get your protein. All right, let me keep it. Me keep. I'm trying to stay professional here. Um, What happened right before Mama Dia passed away? Did Mama Dia I ever give... I wasn't there with Mama Dia. Okay, we can skip that whole section then. I won't even I won't. We can skip that whole section. Oh, one more thing I want to ask you. Nature Boy, which we have on tape, because I don't want you to think I'm making stuff up. I'm not saying you, but this is just for the people watching. Nature Boy said at one point in time, his daughter may potentially be his next wife. Has has Nature Boy has Nature Boy ever given you any kind of pedophile vibes? Because they say right now he just did a live uh dancing with his daughter and he had a hard mm. on. Now I didn't see that, so I can't say it's true. So I'm not yeah, gonna I haven't, that I haven't seen that video. I actually didn't hear him make that comment. I heard him make the comment here. Um Damn, where was I? At? Okay, I was right here. You straight? You fine? Yep, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to speed this up so you can go be the beautiful mother that you are, and I'm not gonna try to hold you up any longer. I don't think. Um, where was I at? Okay, one second. Let me come back to where I was. Drink the that. Okay. Okay, you wasn't there for Mama Dia. Okay, does nature, we know he don't read. We know that. We know he don't read. Does Nature Boy watch other YouTubers and regurgitate them? Because I, because I caught Nature Boy. I know he watches me and steals everything I say and try to regurgitate it. Mm. But I caught, we caught Nature Boy. He accidentally showed his, uh, his search history on YouTube and he was watching videos on how to manipulate women. And really? he had a play Yes, he had a playlist. He had a playlist of, he had all my videos in a playlist. And then he had another video on how to manipulate women. For example, you know the little Car Carbonation University thing they do? Right. He stole that from me. I've been doing Young Feral University since 2016. Oh, yeah, right. so he, 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 if you go on the internet right now and type in youngferal.net, mm -hmm. it's gonna say, welcome to Young Feral University. Now, I don't know if you ever seen, but when I do the little videos on my whiteboard and I do the YPUs, and I be like, people tell mm -hmm. me welcome to another Young Feral University. So he stole my whole swag. But oh. my question is, have you ever, like, does Nature Boy watch YouTube videos and then regurgitate what he sees? Or maybe, um, maybe you may or may not know. Um, I would, okay, so I, I personally didn't know until I, I got a hint of it when he came out with one video when it was like, what's the difference between, like, what is a soul? I think that was a lot that I kind of, like, I felt like I peeped something, but I wasn't sure. Um, it was KRS-One. Um, a video actually had popped up in my in my on my YouTube feed after that after that live of KRS is one of KRS one's video, and it was like he was talking about what is a soul. So I was like, and he did his video first, and then, and I was like, Nature oh. Boy came with his, right? Like a a couple days after that, so I was like, okay, that was kind of sketchy. But I was like, maybe they just not talking about the same thing, and he just you know got inspired to do give his version of what he believes what is a soul is and that and i would he you know he has his watch um he at one point he had his watch um i can't remember the guy's name but he's like a very bland guy he's light-skinned he kind of sits there and he talks like this i can't remember his name but he was he <laughs> he he had us watch them and he asked if like asked us how we thought about his teachings and what we felt about him what was our um views on him right um what are some of the most extreme measures that you've seen people take over there to prove their loyalty to nature boy leaving their children i feel like that is one of the most extreme measures that they'll take to prove their loyalty um i would say for example what happened to me in nicaragua when they were all throwing me out the house to prove their loyalty and they had no idea what happened they had no idea right. what happened before they were given that order. They just went along with it and because Chief gave the order. Um, um, leaving your children in that scenario. Um, I, I would just say just, you know, whatever he, whatever they feel will please him in a the moment, they'll go with it. Wow. Uh, do Are there any members over there that you feel would, would, uh, 
will probably put their life on the line for Nature Boy. Like, how far do you would, think the, the brainwashing is? Do you think it's somebody... That they would put their life thing? on the line? Yes, for Nature Boy. I don't feel like they really would. I feel like they would... They, they, I feel like they would push themselves to get to that point, though, just to prove that they will do it for him if it came down to it. I feel like they would, like, really try their hardest to, to do that. <laughs> okay. Um... What are some of the most extreme punishments? What's, what's the top three extreme punishments you would say you see Nature Boy use to discipline his members? Um, he he kind of uses the same ones. He would, um, you know, just the ridiculing for hours in front of everybody. That's like the main one. Um, kicking you out. That's that's an extreme one. Um, and. Recently, he put Loyal in a closet for three days. That was his jail time. Yeah, I, w I came back after that one, and I was, I was, I was um, astonished that everybody was okay with him being in a closet for fucking three days, and that he even went along with that bullshit. So, so he, he ain't even. So did he eat? Did he did he go to the bathroom in the closet? I, I wasn't there for this one. They told me that, you know, he had just pretty much gotten, gotten out of the closet maybe like a couple days prior to me getting there. So I, I'm not sure of how his schedule was. I'm sure they fed him. I'm sure they let him go to the bathroom. But major his day was spent in the closet, like prison. So That's yeah. a damn shame. And a prison cell is bigger than the closet. So that's what, yeah. a yes. prison, trust me, I've been there. <laughs> um. That's ridiculous, but like I said, I'm I'm gonna keep it pushing. Um, are there any concerns that you may have that children in carbonation may be uh may be malnourished? Um, I would say no. Because I would say Eliana, I think her baby's fine. She's she's gonna make sure that she's eating. She's good. I would say on the other, other hand, Sheba's baby. Um. I would say it could be a possibility because I I didn't know this until after um, when I got back. She told me she actually told me that their pretty much their blood sugar levels were low after they had their baby. There, she was telling me that the the malnourishment uh, they ran tests on them after they had their baby, and she was telling me that they were pretty much malnourished. That's what she that's what she told me. So yeah, I could definitely yeah. Okay. Um. Next question is, how uh, do you know if Nature Boy or anybody over there does any drugs or any substances that would that will alter their state? I'm not. No, they about don't. Like the okay, cool. No, nah, no, nah, um, nah. no drugs. How? All right. Would you consider when Nature Boy drinks? Does he get violent? What's it? What's his personality like? No, nah, he doesn't get violent. Um, I can tell you when he gets, he doesn't even get like really drunk. He may even pretend to be drunk just to see how you would act. He he kind of just um. If he starts getting really like, if if you can tell that he actually is a little drunk, he'll just go on rants, and that's what you'll see online when he'll go on those long rants all night, and everybody's awake just around him watching him rant. Yeah, but that's do that's you, how he gets rant. Okay, do do you believe Nature Boy is mentally stable? I feel like. I feel like he is mentally unstable in the sense that he he the, the way he manipulates and uses people. I feel like that's mentally unstable. Um, I feel like he has very good control though, because you know he can he can definitely control himself to make sure that a scenario plays out in his favor. Um, but yeah, I, I would I think he's crazy. Yes, right. I agree. Um, one time I was getting on Nature Boy on the internet and he broke down crying online. Does Nature that Boy was break? bullshit. Oh, he was faking. That was bullshit. And I've seen him do that, like, maybe on two occasions where he'll just pretend to cry. And that's he actually laughed after that live, after he broke down crying. He was just like, you know what? Fuck it. If I end up getting in trouble, fuck it. I'm crazy. Like, you know, he had, you know, he, he plans this shit out in his mind before before anything happens. And if, it, if all else fails, he will play that he's crazy and... You know, so nothing will right. happen to him. Okay, so he, so it's, so he basically, he knows how to manipulate his audience. Mhm. Mm All right, and I promise you, we at the end of this. I just don't want to ask you because some of this you didn't answer already, so I'm just skipping through. Um, no worries. 
do you feel that Nature Boy purposely turned new being against you since you no longer wanted to be there? Because I, and I'm asking you this, yeah. Because I, I, okay, because I just seen a he'll always do that, always, mm -hmm. always. He'll even while I was there, he would um do little things to turn new being against me, or if he felt me pulling away from carbonation. He would, you know, start playing yeah. playing on Nubian's um, insecurities or like, you know, his soft spots. He'll like, like if he feels me pulling away, he'll be like, okay. He'll start calling Nubian his son or be like, man, you look like you could be my son. He'll say stuff like that or he'll be like, man, I think you're a great leader. He'll like try and feed his ego in some type of way that keeps him like, yeah, Chief is proud of me. I'm doing the right thing. You know, Chief really fucking with me. And that's something that you will really hear. And um, yeah, he will always try to turn. He. After the car accident, he turned him against me. In that moment of me comforting him, he literally flipped the whole scenario to the point where Nubian didn't even want me to touch him after he was just crying in my arms. Um, wow. Yeah, so he, he, def he does that a lot. He'll turn people against each other in order to keep control, in order to keep your focus um, from leaving. Um, yeah. And I'm yeah, going to tell the people why I asked that question, because once again, I must iterate I don't care about that nigga at all. He's gonna, he's been blocked. He's gonna stay blocked. This is to spread aw awareness, so that y'all can see some of the tactics people use, and you can see the warning signs before you get yourself in a dangerous situation. Anybody who's willing to break up a, a, a home, okay? I'm not gonna speak on Nubian's other child. I'm gonna speak on this one. This what was potentially a home. Anybody who's willing to turn a mother and a father against each other is not thinking about the benefit of them raising their kid together. They're thinking about their own gratification. That is somebody you should worry about who would rather, who would, somebody who would put your alleged friendship or your membership with them above your duties and your principles as a father or a man to your woman. So these are warning signs. Um, another question I want to ask. Uh, I just seen a video of Nubian, and you don't. We we can skip this if you want to skip it. You ain't got to talk about no. Nothing. We're Not good. Gonna... We don't have to skip anything. Okay, right. I just seen Nubian in a video today. I've seen it today actually, mm -hmm. where he wished death on you as well as, unfortunately, that beautiful child you have over there. Really? Yes. I'm not listen. If, if I will, I don't want you to ever think I'm making nothing up. I do not. No, I, I believe it. I believe it. Okay, do you believe this is how he truly feels, or do you believe that Nature Boy is influencing this type of behavior? Um, I feel like he does play into what he thinks Nature Boy wants him to see. Um, I do feel like he he possibly could feel that way. I don't want to I don't want to knock that and say that he doesn't feel that way. Um, he was he was controlling too. You know, he started he he um, he used nature boy as a muse so as you see anytime he goes live now what is he he's saying the exact same things nature boy says he's doing the same mannerism nature boy does so you know i i wouldn't put it past him honestly at this point i wouldn't okay couple more questions then we good mm -hmm. um jesus christ have you ever seen Nature Boy keep not Vel not this, this question is not only relevant to Velvet but to any of the members? Have you ever seen Nature Boy keep Velvet or any of the other members out of contact with their family purposely? I, I'm glad you asked this question because I forgot about this. You know, he'll say that he won't keep you away from your family and that you can talk to your family whenever you want. Now, that may be true. Um, yes, you can talk to your family whenever you want, but if he sees you talking to your family, that is when he'll, you become a target because you're now talking to an outside source. He'll begin to question you. Why are you even talking to them? You, they don't really understand you anyway. I mean, like if you're getting resources from them, then that's cool, but you shouldn't be talking to them. And he'll literally try and pick at you and get you to stop talking to them because he doesn't want, he truly doesn't want you talking to your family unless you're getting money from them. Okay. That's good to know. Glad I asked that question. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a passive aggressive approach. Instead mm -hmm. of him just saying, don't talk to your family, it's more like you can talk to him, but then when you do it, he, he punishes you in an alternative mm -hmm. way. Okay. Right. You, you mentioned earlier Nature Boy chastising people verbally for hours. What's the longest time Nature Boy has ever went on a rant 
trying to verbally abuse his members? What's the longest amount of time? An hour, two hours, three hours? Six hours? Like, is it, it'll, it could go on all day. It could go on all day, literally. He, if he Jesus doesn't want to stop, he's not going to stop. It can go on all day. And that's why a lot of people, you just kind of become numb too. You just kind of, just kind of like, it just kind of fades into the background to the point where you just, just, you just there. It's you like living at home with a with an abusive parent. And after a while, it's just like, uh, that's just what they do. Let me go to my room. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. I know you said they don't, but I can't believe ain't one of them niggas. I would have at least been like, come on, nigga, it's three in the morning. Nigga, I'm going to sleep. Like, Yeah, I do that. <laughs> um, you know, I got to the point where I just was like, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not showing up to, I'm not doing this. We're going, going to bed. Like, no. And then, you know, he, he did try and not make the meetings last as long once. You know, I started speaking out about it and not, you know, not we're not getting sleep. We're not getting That's sleep right. at this point. We've been up. Okay, you you know, we were up till 4 a.m. this night. Now we're up doing work, and now we're back up again till 4 a.m. Once it goes on for a couple of days, then, you know, he might ease up, you know, let the people sleep a little bit. But, you know, that's that's another way of control, too. You're tired all the fucking time. You're tired. Right, so it's right, so it just like, I'm going to just submit to what you want me to do so I can... So I don't got to hear this because I'm drained on all levels. Mm -hmm. um, two more questions. Unless something pops in my mind, I only have two more questions for you. Um, uh, have you ever seen Velvet get violent with other with the, with any other members? Even if she didn't hit him, have you ever seen her suggest that it would that it could lead to that? Or have you like what? Like what's the what's the extreme? I mean, I, I I've heard her talk shit like, oh, like girl, I would hit you, but like, no, no. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Um, are you currently being harassed by any members of the cult or were you being harassed pro you know while you were exiting that organization while I was exiting the organization um, while you were after you left or now either either time frame what, um, it, after what I your... left after I left no no and that's why I was surprised that the video was that he they even put out a video New didn't contact me uh, at all. He didn't contact me about Nubia. Um, when he had the opportunity, I actually reached out to him, and it was time for him to see Nubia. He did not contact me at all. If Chief tells him, if Nature Boy tells him, don't fuck with her, he not going to fuck with me. And he just wished death upon me. So, nah. I, yeah. Nah. Yeah, that's crazy. So you, that's crazy that somebody allows another man to influence them not to be a father to their kid. Yeah. But um, you know that's that's unfortunate. Um, they're apparently upset about this interview, which nobody cares. I mean, nobody come on it. now. I'm just I, I'm just asking a question. I mean, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm saying that to ask you a question. Um, so because I want people to see behavior. Like I said, I'm not mm -hmm. doing this to highlight them. BBC News did a whole documentary on these people. They're a cult. It's, it's no, nobody cares. My thing is for people to see behavior. If Nubian, right, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, because I'm that's still your, the, the father of your child, so I'm gonna still I'm gonna still respect that and watch the line I walk. Mm -hmm. But if Nubian is not influenced to reach out to you to be a father or to at least say, mm -hmm. hey, he did a video. This is before me and you even did this interview, wishing mm -hmm. death on you and the child. Why do you feel as a? Why do you feel? That now, mm -hmm. since you're doing an interview with me, we ain't wishing nothing negative on nobody. All you're doing right. is giving record of your experience. Why do you feel now they feel the need to go live and attack you now? Or even bring you up? Because I'm speaking out. Um, that's what's going to happen. They're going to, okay. So I can tell you the sequence of events that's going to happen. They don't want anyone to speak anything negatively upon carbonation at all. Even if... Uh, Everything is true that I'm saying. Everything has happened and it has happened. Every every member that has left has told the truth about their experiences, but they don't want that. They don't want the truth out. They'll say it's just uh, an insulator from the message. When it's a true experience, this is also the message. You talk morals are a part of the message, and they are breaking morals. Um, so right. yeah, they don't want me speaking out. They're gonna try any way to to tear break my character to to make me look crazy online, and that's that's also something that he did a lot of the time while he was recording Velvet all the time and showing her explode. He would have, a lot of times he would try and antagonize her to get to that point so he could have proof. He actually said that out his own mouth. 
because he was, he was like, okay, so I'm going to be good when she actually does leave. Ain't nobody going to be fucking with me because she don't, she don't line while the fuck out. He does, he, you know, so they're going to try any way they can to make me seem like I'm crazy, I'm mentally unstable, um, just so they can continue to get what they want from people. Whether okay. that be money, whether that be a place to stay, whether that be a car, anything, resources. Right. They don't want the evil that they do to be known because it could it could potentially right. deter new victims, aka members. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Somebody told me to ask this question. I mm -hmm. personally don't know. You may not know. Apparently, there was a woman named Sunny that Nature Boy uh asked to leave the cult because she refused to jump off of a cliff or some kind of high story when she was uh, seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, Sissette, so Sunny, um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like a cliff or anything. It was a rock. It was like, he was like, jump, everybody was jumping off the rock. She didn't want to jump off the rock. And so he was trying to get, figure out why was she was so afraid to jump in the water? Cause it literally, it wasn't like a high thing. And he was saying right. that it was like a mental blockage. Um, but after that, he didn't make her leave after that. Actually, he was just like, you know what? It is what it is. Like he kind of just put it off to the side, but he, after, you know, three hour meeting um she had then become like shunned by everybody there nobody would talk to her you know i was still talking to her of course and she's like asking me like how do i get back and get graces with everybody you know i'm giving her like ideas of like you know i'm giving her information like how she can like you know stay and like get it like you know get her shit back together but then after a certain point after i seen how pice responded to how he would like leave her and just abandon her i was i just stopped trying to help her at that point and i was just like nah go home i had planned to leave after i was already in contact with people leaving so at that point i stopped helping her trying to stay and i just i was one of the people that pushed her to leave um right and i left after that so why would he tell her to jump off a rock or jump off anything with her being pregnant I mean, we go to the, we, you know, that's what we, <laughs> we went to the waterfall. So he just, and that's why, honestly, I was there that I didn't understand it either. It wasn't like, like it literally, it was like jumping to the water. It's not like you're jumping off a cliff, you're jumping off a waterfall. Right. It's literally like, if you stuck your foot out, you could tap the water with your foot. And so okay. we, he was literally trying to figure out why she was afraid to get into the water. Okay. Um, this was a beautiful interview. Like I said, I'm not going to hold you. You're a beautiful mother. Um, I appreciate you for even giving me this interview and allowing me on your platform. Uh, everybody who's from my platform who may be familiar with the situation, you know I've, 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 I've did my due diligence and taken carbonation down before, uh, particularly Nature Boy. So I'm, I'm going to say this. If y'all if decide to follow this queen after this interview, Leave her alone. Let her evolve with her life. If it's not supportive, if you ain't got nothing for the, if you ain't doing what I'm about to do, which is ask when is a birthday or something, so you can send something. If you ain't gonna do that, leave this woman alone. Do not get to asking her a thousand questions because for some of some for some of y'all, us on the entertainment is I mean us on the internet is entertainment, and I have to remind you all the time this is our real lives. This is somebody's yeah. real loved one, somebody's real family member. So everything is not entertainment. And she did not have to give me this interview. Um, I believe somewhere, I believe on one of your lives, you stated that uh, this is the last day you would speak on this. And that's what even made me ask you for the interview because I said, mm -hmm. you know what? Let me let me go ahead and, and uh, do this for the people real quick before this woman fully goes on her path. And as you go on your path, I'm going to slide you my number in your DM. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you publicly so don't nobody think I'm trying nothing or nothing like that. No, you're good, you're good. Yeah, I'm going to slide you my number brother to sister uh if you need anything from me i'm a call away your business is, is safe with me you don't have to have me in it but i'm just letting you know you have an ally with me um let me know a birthday or something let me know something's going on today. all right <laughs> i can send my love give me a cash app or something and um put this shit behind you as yeah. you already know you're strong-minded you're smart i don't gotta tell you nothing but put this shit behind you as we both know they're going to attack they're going to troll they're going to do what they do let them become a thing of the yeah. past and go live the beautiful life that you have the chance to live. And um, I appreciate you for this interview. I support you. I'm going to send you my number when I get off. That's All my right. message to everybody here. Uh, one more thing before I go. Do not slide in my DMs, y'all, telling me what this nigga is talking about. I promise you yeah. I don't care. 
he gets no response from me. This interview is not to revive him or get to arguing with him on the internet. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of trolls. This video is to bring awareness. It's about to be summertime. It's about to be spring. These the type of niggas that's out here. These the type of niggas that's going to be at the high schools and sliding in your deep. They're going to be praying. And I'm not saying this queen, but they're going to be praying on people that don't have family support. And they're mm -hmm. going to be praying on people that don't have a certain level of mental fortitude. Mm -hmm. And so this interview is just to show you, this woman didn't have to give us her experience. This interview is to show you the the behavioral tendencies and patterns of people like this so that you yourself can not only watch out for yourself, but you can watch out for your family members and your loved ones as the summer is finna return and all of these niggas is finna get on the internet acting conscious and they really is wicked niggas. And so right. that's the point of this interview. And um, if you have anything you want to say to me, I want to say I'm thankful. I'm, I'm grateful that you came on, that you asked and you came on my platform and uh, to to speak um, and bring awareness to this because this, this is real life, y'all. This is real life. There's people trying to get on their way to carbonation right now, trying to get to carbonation. Um, it's tax season. They're willing to take anybody who has money. Do not donate to these people. If you want to donate, donate to donate to Donate to a fucking charity. Go give it to, to someone that actually needs help. Go donate, donate it to your neighbor down the street. Help them out with some groceries or something. Do not donate to Carbon Nation. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's wicked over there. It's wicked. You know? That's right. And That's you just wicked. actually you actually prompted me to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Does Nature Boy uh, provide his own form of currency? Or does he does he make his money off of his members or, or their loved ones or donations? Basically, is he generating his own wealth or is he using everybody else around him to gain wealth? He is using everybody else around him to gain wealth. Um, if he comes into contact with somebody that he thinks has money or may have money, he'll be more prone to talk to you. He won't, like, for example, there was a member, um, he wasn't paying this nigga any mind. He was actually talking shit about this guy. And then when he found out he had a check, he was on the way within that same week. Um... So he'll, if you, like I said, he won't allow, he really won't want you to talk to your family unless you're getting money from your family. For example, Pice. He does not care that Pice talks to his mother because his mother sends him donations. If he, he knows, if he, he knows you have money through your family, he will, you know, be more prone to you talking to your family. Um, if you have resources, you are um, a target for him. Okay. Uh, to anybody who wants to get familiar or you might just want to laugh, okay, uh, about, you know, this cult. You can go on YouTube. I have a personal page that I created called YP Instagram Live. Go on YouTube, type in YP Instagram Live, hit videos, scroll all the way down, and just go up. And you're going to laugh. You're going to cry. But you will be informed about Nature Boy. And um, like I say, I appreciate you for having me. Um, I just text you my number in your DM. Uh, shoot me a text so I can lock you in. I don't care All what right. it is. It, it's between me and you. It go, I'm telling you all, it's between me and you. If you need me for anything, you let me know. It's between me and you. If if the baby, I, I, how old is your child? She's five months. Okay, when 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 six months get to approach and let me know. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna send something. That's gonna be from from brother to sister. So anything right. you need, if I could be of aid, I'm genuine. I'm not weird. I ain't trying to none. I'm a genuine friend. So you hit me up. I'm telling you that on live. So you got my word. Everybody hear me telling you on live. So you know I'm not capping. When you get ready to let me know yeah. in the DM. So everybody in your business, when you get to six months, when we come in on six months, let me know. If I can cash app you, send you something, whatever you need, let me know. And just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a phone call away. Even if you just need to say, nigga, I'm having a bad day. Nigga, hear me <laughs> out. I will hear you out. All right. I'm thankful. All right. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Thank y'all. Leave this woman alone. Don't come bothering this woman unless you're encouraging her and lifting this woman up. And I'm gone. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Peace.